Hey Leo, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for being here and thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I appreciate it. This is going to be the Leo reading for the week. This reading could resonate right now or later on down the line. It's for anyone with Leo placements or anyone else who's guided to watch the Leo reading for whatever reason they've been guided here. This reading could resonate right now or later on. This reading could have multiple messages that come out in the middle of it or at the very end sometimes we get a lot of messages as well um, this could have one storyline or more than one and it could have like I said multiple messages that come out in the middle of or during at the end of the reading okay let's get into it Leo reading for anyone who's guided for whatever reason reason they're guided here my readings are predictive if you don't know what this is it's even more reason to pay attention because it's a prediction or multiple predictions okay all right let's do it spirit and angels anyone for the highest good okay and whoa this is way too many I'm gonna put all these back because it's way too many what is the bottom appreciations at the bottom let's take it all right so we have uh, magician in the mirror we have the garden in the gate we have rest and rejuvenation and we have appreciation oh, wow so this is pretty nice this is and look at how the garden in the gate and appreciation kind of both have like um it's almost like security, stability, gratitude. Um, it's really nice. I feel as though something's getting balanced out for you. Um, there feels this feels to me like there's a lot of safety, balance, and um, groundedness coming in here. Um, a lot of uh, gratitude. It's like a high vibration. It feels good. All right, let's get into it and see what comes through. Leo reading spirit and angels anyone for the highest good now if this isn't already happening it's an indication that there's a need for getting real grounded and real balanced and and see this one the magician in the mirror really is about um you know balancing out the light and the dark the hot and the cold the you know whatever it's the yin and the yang you know whatever um whatever it is for you that needs to be balanced out with rest and rejuvenation and all this beautiful energy of safety and gratitude all right let's look at it a lot of groundedness here spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know about this reading what are the messages what do we need to know about it leo reading it's for anyone with leo placements or anyone else who's guided to see the leo reading this reading could resonate now or later on down the line it's a predictive reading so please pay attention to the predictions that come out during the reading like i said multiple messages random messages or storylines could come up right to the very end of this video all right leo reading one more shuffle leo reading i might call out some zodiac signs you don't have to even pay attention to that part if you don't know what's happening in astrology right now so don't try to force those signs in any way all right let's get into it leo reading please magician in the mirror the garden in the gate rest and rejuvenation and appreciation what do we need to know leo reading for anyone who's guided leo reading okay judgment reversed what else do we need to know okay the death card all right what else these are big major arcana cards so this is an important reading what do we need to know yeah and the hierophant all big major arcana cards so whatever's happening here is an important it's something important okay three of pentacles could be at work could have something to do with a commitment that you have um, or that you're in page of stabs you could get some information could have something to do with a partnership all right so you got lots of you got more major arcanas than you don't okay so more more than you um half the reading is major arcanas here because if you look back here you have the moon and the tower reverse which are both major arcana cards you also have judgment which is also in the reverse and you have the death card in the upright which is the way we'd like to see it and the hierophant also the way we want to see it and the lovers 
okay? So these are all major arcana, all of them. The only two regular cards you have is a three of coins and actually a court card, which is the page of staff. So it's not even quite technically not a, a, a regular card. So you really only have one regular card with a number on it here in Three of Pentacles. This just says to us that this is an important, it's a moment you won't forget. It's like um, something important happening. Um, now with the moon here and the tower reversed, I feel like something's getting balanced out for you that you, like the moon says, well, you don't really know this, but the tower, um, it, it's getting better. Something's going to get better here. There could have been this tower, this, um, something could have happened in your career, um, or in a partnership. Like I see here a partnership with the lovers and the Hierophant and the three of pentacles tells me, could you have found out about a third party? Uh, is this something that could have happened here? It's possible. I don't see any other third party cards, but I see something here about like secrets could have caused this tower um judgment in reverse sometimes is someone could have even used bad judgment this could be you could be someone else but whatever it is i feel like it had something to do with uh, a commitment you had with another person um there is something coming to a um I want to say a close or an end, but let me get a little bit on that before I say, I almost feel like, um, the towers, what's coming to the end, you know, this, um, it's almost like we're revisiting something with the judgment reverse to balance out something. Like I said, this could be a work situation for some of you. It could be a decision around your work, your partner's work. It could have something to do with um, the partnership itself. There could be um, something you're trying to work out with a partner. It does not have to be third party. Like I said, there's not even any indication other than this three of pentacles here. Uh, let me get a little bit more information. What do we need to know about this reading here for Leo? For anyone with Leo placements or anyone else? So what I see here is Scorpio, Sagittarius, uh, Gemini, uh, and Taurus so far. What, what was behind here? Oh, yeah. And Pisces. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus. Gemini and Sagittarius. Whew, it's a lot of signs for a little reading, but you know, none of them have to mean anything. They don't have to mean anything. I just like to call them out for those of you that know astrology. All right. What do we need to know here? Anything we need to know? Uh, Leo reading, Leo reading. We're going to do one more shuffle. Leo reading. All right. Let's take a little look here. I want to know about the judgment reversed. First of all, judgment reversed. What are we talking about here? um the 10 of spells reversed so that's see it in the upright it's the 10 of wands but it came out in reverse 10 of spells reversed this is we're dumping a bunch of burdens it has something to do with the past the six of cups they call it the six of visions in this deck something about the past we're releasing absolutely releasing something from the past um because well whatever it was caused some kind of tower um there could have been something came happened in our world because of something from the past and now we're letting it go tell me about the three of coins here what is this about the three of coins could have been a job situation it was a commitment a commitment the hierophant again they call him the oldest one in this deck uh this i'm so sorry this is the um oh forest of enchantment deck and they everything's called something else but you're releasing this this you're letting go of this commitment four of pentacles this could be something you were holding on to very hard or they could have been but holding on to this was just causing more burdens so we're we're releasing it we're letting it go um oh so this is the miss cleo deck i apologize i forgot to say that and the uh energy oracle uh forest of enchantment they have all different names for things in this deck but don't worry I, i'm on top of making sure you guys know what they are we're releasing something from the past it has to do with some kind of a commitment there even could be i have to say it somebody could have brought a third party into this um commitment 
or there could be a third party person interfering in this commitment, right? So let's look at, but we're releasing something. If it's not the partnership you're letting go of, it's the third party you're letting go of. Let's look at the Hierophant here. What do we need to know? The Hierophant's here twice, so let's look at it. This also could represent a Taurus. Tell me about the Hierophant. Yeah, so you have the moonlight reversed again. So the moon is there and the moonlight is now reversed. So you're seeing something clearer for sure. And you have the seeker of spells. So this is the knight of wands. You also have the page of wands here. I feel like um, you could even be receiving information or you could be... I definitely feel like you're receiving information or clarity of some sort. Um, yeah, and at the bottom is the Queen of Swords. Clarity, right? Where the And look at how it's like black and white. Going from, you know, um, not being able to see something clearly to being able to. Let me see this page of staves. What about the page of staves here? This could be information coming in. Leo reading. Why is page of staves involved? Yeah, lovers reversed. Again, here's the lovers right there. Here it is reversed. So this could be a decision that's being made. This could be some kind of news coming in. Tell me about the lovers card in the upright over here. What about that one? There could be a breakup happening. There could be uh, anything. Tell me about this lovers. Three of cups reversed. Somebody's releasing the third party or whatever the problem was in this relationship. Listen, either we're releasing the person because of the third party or we're releasing the third party. So it's going to be different for each one of you. Uh, let me look at the death card because this could be the end of something. Um, tell me about the death card. Just the death card for Leo. Death card. Yeah, death card again. The black shuck is the death card. And again, the three of swords at the bottom. So somebody's definitely releasing something that has to do with three of cups, three of pentacles, three of swords, all being, they're all like with the partnership. The commitment is here with the three of pentacles. The lovers is here with the three of cups. We're ending something that's three of swords. So something, look, I kid you not, in a partnership, same exact energy, every single, three of pentacles with the commitment three of cups in reverse with the two with the lovers the two of cups with the three of swords everywhere we see a three we see that this has to do with a commitment so this definitely is someone um i feel receiving clarity the seven of cups here clarity on something they didn't totally have clarity on before that had something to do with the tower coming down in the relationship that involved a third party this is i see clearly what was going on with the third party here now for each of you i'm not sure which way you're going to go with this it's like you're seeing it clearer and you're definitely releasing something and ending something are you ending the relationship or are you ending the third party is the question here because some of you, I feel like it's going to be a different answer for each of you. So a very interesting, let's pull out the, um, let's pull out the angel cards. I'm going to pull out an after tarot card for you guys. I think we have a couple minutes. Yeah, we do. All right. Give me just one or two cards here to see what's next, because I am curious as to which, uh, which, scenario most of you are going to have here are we releasing the third party or are we releasing the actual relationship there's definitely clarity and information coming in or you know, we have the wounded warrior here with the queen of swords getting real clear about, we, we, didn't we have the queen, queen of swords at the bottom at one point too, real clear about something that's been going on as the wounded warrior here. Can I have one more card on what's next in this situation with this partnership? There it is again, the Hierophant. This has definitely got to do with secrets I feel around a partnership, the two of cups and the moon and you know you have the two of wands down here too i feel like it's absolutely it's almost like a mystery 
it revolves around dumping the burdens that have to do with the partnership we saw that in here with the ten of swords reversed judgment reversed and dumping the burdens that the tower caused in this partnership i feel like it's almost like we can't it's going to be a complete different answer for each of you the hierophant is here three times all three decks pulled the hierophant in your um reading and you have multiple cards of partnership in here I think the answer is going to be different for each of you. Some of you are going to move forward with your partner and you guys are going to walk away from the third party person that got involved with you or your partner. Others of you are leaving the partnership and, but you know, beans, the Hierophants in the upright, each time I see it, I tend to believe some of you will forgive your partner. Some of you now don't get triggered. Those of you that aren't forgiving your partner, that's not you the ones that are forgiving a partner or wait a minute maybe your partner's forgiving you remember this could go either way what do we need to know here what are the messages authenticity and healing wow all right some of you are going to choose to open that heart chakra and be authentic or they will and heal this relationship i feel it strongly Okay, guys, and maybe for some of you, it's not that kind of relationship. It could be a partnership or a business partnership. And I'm saying that because both scenarios came up. You had lovers and two of cups and you had three of pentacles twice, which tells me this could be business, right? So remember, for some of you, this might be you healing something between you and a business partner or a workmate or something like that, or, you know, a boss that you are committed to, or you could be the boss. So it doesn't have to be romantic, but I see a balance. I see a lot of groundedness. I see really coming to a place where we meditate on it and get real clear on what we want to do. Whatever happens here, if there is some kind of forgiveness or if you are, um, repairing something in a partnership or if this has to do with business or something um there is like this uh healing and office authenticity between the two of you that's happening here for others of you you could be severing a tie with someone it's just that the hierophants continually in the upright here that makes me feel most of you are working something out and it might not be anything to do with the third party it could have been a business situation that you were dealing with and that you um were like uh you were carrying too many burdens you felt harmed you felt like there was some kind of secrets around something and a tower came down there could have been secrets and whatever was going on and you're going to get some clarity there and there's going to be like um i don't know like you guys are going to agree to move forward together and heal the situation okay all right good luck with this you guys uh if you would please comment down below i'd love to hear from you guys and know if you got your message whichever scenario is yours and if you want to share which scenario is yours that'd be really cool um anyway guys have a great week this week don't forget to hit the like it helps the channel grow and i really do appreciate it okay guys have a good week bye